Hi, good evening. My name is Pratik Gupta and welcome to my YouTube channel. So from Monday onwards, that means from 12th of uh, September, I'm going to start a series uh, on the stock market and uh, I will upload video every alternate day. So on 12th of September, I'm going to start from Monday. That means every Monday, then on Wednesday and then on Friday, you will get a comprehensive video regarding the stock market investment. Now, in the upcoming series, what all things I'm going to provide you as a part of stock market investment so that if somebody who is not aware about stock market investment at all, you will be able to gain certain amount of knowledge about it. You will get to know the entire process of investment and you will also get to know what are the safe areas, what are the good companies in which you can invest your money. But obviously, as you know, in case of stock market, there is a one advice or one disclaimer which is being provided by each and every person who is guiding you that whatever I'm going to tell you, that is as per my best experiences, whatever I am doing in the stock market for the last, uh, you know, like if I'll tell you, I started investing in the stock market from 2006 onwards. So 2006 was the year, you know, when I started the investment. So that time I was a student, I was not having any amount of money by which I can invest in the market. So what happened that year, I still remember, I asked for certain amount of money for my elder brother, that I need certain amount of money by which I can invest in the market. So by trusting, you know, me, so he gave me certain amount of money to invest in the market. And you won't believe with the help of that money, I invested in different, different areas and I earned a good amount of money. And with the help of that money, I, you know, I was able to finance some amount of my coaching fee, which I, you know, uh, kind of uh, used for the uh, civil service coaching. Then I also joined certain test series. So good amount of money I earned. So after that, you know, uh, what, when I started earning, I also start, uh, in, I, I even started investing even more in the stock market and I earned good amount of money. But uh, with time, you know, as I was having more involved in my offline classes and the other, so lesser time, a lesser amount of time I was getting to simply uh, invest in the market. So what happened, I started investing in the comparatively safe avenues where the market is uh, where the market is more stable the instruments are being kind of more stable these are more safe to invest so basically it, it, it's like that i got more risk averse so earlier i was kind of more of risk taking and then you know kind of more risk averse now as i recently started the online classes and now i am having good amount of time to simply focus on the market so i thought why not i should share my experiences also of stock market with you so that if somebody who is being trying to, you know, invest in the market and trying to earn certain amount of money. So I will tell you certain amount of safe areas we can invest and how you will be able to earn certain amount of money in the market. So these series is basically going to for the beginner who was not aware about the market that how to invest and what are the things they required to simply go ahead. That is what I'm going to tell you in this particular series. So basically the series of lecture which I'm going to provide one by one in this particular, you know, stock market series. Like I will start with my video on 12th of September with if somebody wants to invest in the market, then what documents you need, okay? Because you know this thing, if you want to invest in the stock market, you need to open up something called a DMAT account you need to open. The name or you can say the full form of this DMAT account is what? Dematerialization account you need to open with a stock market broking firm okay moreover you also need to open up a saving account if you want to invest in the market so what documents are required what are the possible you know areas or companies you have where you can invest and what is the amount of money you need to pay as a fee what are the charges what are the broking charges and the other what all taxes is being applied by government of india when you want to invest in the stock market so all the information I will give you, okay, regarding the investment in the market. Once, you know, we will complete all this basic about the stock market, like what are the requirements, what all things you need to have to simply access the market, to invest in the market. Then after that, I'll start discussing about you that how, you know, the people are being choosing the companies which are comparatively better to invest with, to start with, where you can invest and you can earn certain amount of money. Okay. Then I will also tell you what is the meaning of IPO, initial public offer, the meaning of FPO, 
what amount of money you can invest in the IPO, what are the IPOs which are comparatively better to invest, what is the meaning of ratings given by the companies when it comes to investing in a particular IPO and the other, like you must be aware about the LIC IPO was given by the government of India. And I still remember that when people were like crazy about investing in the LIC, you know, what you say, the IPO initial public offer, I said that thing when the IPO was provided by the government of India that this IPO is not going to be a hit at all. The people will lose money. I still remember one incident that when I was traveling in Delhi Metro, one person, he was so, so keen to invest in the LIC IPO that he was talking to one of the stock market broker and he was telling that I need to open up a DMAT account immediately because I need to invest in the, you know, uh, LIC IPO because the kind of hype the government of India created, the kind of hype the people created about the LIC IPO, you won't believe people were like crazy when it comes to investing in the LIC IPO. And when I was, you know, hearing that person, though, you know, listening to the other people's talk is not a good thing, but the point is, was as he was just sitting next to me, you know, and he was talking about uh, that I need to open up a DMAT account, I need to invest money, the date is approaching, I need to invest this much, that much amount of money. So it was like, fine. Somehow, you know, I thought that I should talk to this person. And I started talking to this man that, do you know anything about the stock market? He said, no, I don't know. It's just that other people are saying that the LIC IPO is really good, you know, that I should invest in this and I will be able to earn a lot of money out of it. So what I said, you know, though you don't know me, but I'm just giving you a very simple advice and I'm telling you, it's totally up to you whether you want to take it or not because you already made up your mind that I want to invest in the LIC IPO. The kind of, you know, conversation you're having with this broker, I'm pretty sure you're going to invest in this. But I'm telling you, please don't invest your heart and money in this because what I believe there is no lot of gain you are going to get out of this IPO. And it was like, okay. Okay. And I, and I told him, okay, okay, fine. I said, I know you are going to invest in this IPO for sure. You take my number. And when you invest in this IPO, if you earn money, it's really good. Never call me. But in case, if you lose money, because I know you will lose. Okay. Then give me a call and tell me that, sir, yes, you are correct. And you won't believe he called me up and he was like, sir, you were correct. I unnecessarily invested money in that. So point is what? People are not aware that which IPO is good, which IPO is not. So I will tell you certain basic tricks by which you will be able to kind of decide that whether I need to go for a particular IPO or not. Same in case of Zomato, if you remember. Same in case of Paytm, if you remember. Whatever these attack, you know, you know, these companies, you can say food delivery app and, and the other companies who provided the this IPO in the market, the people didn't money out of that. Okay, they in fact lose money. They in fact lost their hard-earned money. So we'll tell you also the basic about that. What are the things that you need to focus before deciding that whether you need to go for a particular IPO or not? Okay. After discussing, you know, this particular thing about the IPO and the other, then I will tell you. What are the sectors which are comparatively more safe from investment point of view? Because see, there are certain sectors like, uh, like you have so many sectors in the country like banking, insurance, steel, cement, aluminium, insurance, so many sectors we have. Though every sector is having good companies in which you can invest and you can earn money out of that. But yes, there are certain sectors which are called comparatively safe all the time. And moreover, when you invest in these sectors, there is a more chance that you will earn money out of that. So I will tell you those sectors which are being kind of more better. Once we will have a complete discussion about the stock market investment and the other, that how you can invest, what are the sectors which are being better and the other, then I will start telling you about the various instrument in the market which are being really, really big hit in case of our country. For example, mutual funds. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people are been getting huge amount of money by only endorsing mutual fund. You remember, Mahindra Singh Dhoni sir, he's been coming in an ad called mutual fund, sahi hai. You must be knowing about Sachin Tandukar, he's also about mutual fund, sahi hai. But are they really correct or not? That you need to know. How these people invest, how they choose the sectors, what are the, 
you know things that you need to keep in mind when you go for a mutual fund investment and the other that i will tell you okay the different categories of mutual funds which we have in the market i'll tell you which is supposed to be choose by which person at which age you know that you feel more risk taking which mutual fund is better if you're being kind of more risk averse then which mutual fund you're supposed to be take if you're being kind of neutral then which mutual fund is comparatively better for you then i will also tell you about something called etfs exchange traded funds because that is also something which has been kind of little popular i would say in case of our stock market okay then those people who are having good amount of money with them okay then i will also tell you that they can also go for something called commodities market so we will also have a small discussion about the commodities market that how you can simply invest money and how you can simply earn money out of that but i'm telling you that is something which is being very risky and here you need good amount of money if you need to start investing here so about the commodities market like mcfs multi commodity exchange i will discuss about it okay so once we'll complete all these things then you can say you will have a some sort of basic knowledge or you can say some sort of good hold over the market okay that what are the things that you need to keep in mind while investing and how you can earn money out of that that is i'm going to tell you as a part of this series so stay tuned from monday the series is going to be started okay and the class duration will be or you can say the session duration will be around an hour or something so that depends upon the you know discussion and the other so we'll take certain lectures we'll take certain session by which you will be able to know so very soon we are going to start stay tuned thank you very much we'll see you soon bye bye and please be safe we are mask and please subscribe to my youtube channel and if you want to learn economics from the civil service examination point of view then you can simply join my plus courses on an academy app so from 8th of september i started a course for the prelims 2023-24 and i'm going to start a comprehensive course which is really really important for the pre as well as mains from 10th of october onwards so please join my courses thank you very much take care and bye bye